this is me. And I have lost my colleague. And this is the path that I'm supposed to take. As you can see, it's pitch fucking black. And every time I ask myself, why the fuck am I here? Then I do this. And then I say, oh, I know why. Hi sis, I'm sorry I didn't make a video one week after yours, but it's two weeks, so getting closer and closer. At least it's not a month. Um, this time I'm going to be talking about two new things in my life. Uh, one being I got a new camera. Well, this is actually not the new one. The new one I am recording from. Um, so, it's kind of awkward. Anyway, I can show you at least photos of the new camera from this camera. Or I could record from this camera, that camera. Wait, let me actually try that. Okay, now you will see probably the footage from the other camera, the old one, so that I can show the new one, yay! So my old camera is a Canon D600, as you can see here, and the new one is a 60, which you can see here. And since buying a new camera is not expensive enough, I also bought uh, two new lenses that fit the new camera, actually, because this one uh, I cannot use on that camera, sadly. It's a good one. The weird noises you're hearing are my dishwasher, by the way. Lofoten is an island archipelago in the northern part of Norway. And it's not Svalbard. Svalbard is even further north. Insert Google map here. So what did we do in Lofoten, you ask? Well, we did a lot of photography. So I went to Lofoten with a colleague of mine. Uh, it was supposed to be multiple people, all colleagues. But as it usually goes with travel plans, people just cancel or don't show up or just say that they have other plans or whatever. So it was uh, just me and Roshan, uh, a colleague from my team. We rented the car uh, and since he doesn't have a European driver's license, I was the one driving all the time. So in four days I made 550 kilometers around Norwegian tiny one-lane streets and that was something I will probably not forget that time soon. We made a lot of stops and a lot of photos. The greatest part was actually camping because we took our tents with us and sleeping bags and climbed the mountain so that we would have an overview of the entire cities cities uh, that are below us as well as the super moon which was happening at that particular time and the aurora borealis which was also happening at that time sadly though clouds appeared and covered the entire moon and everything that was supposed to be the blood moon which was a very rare event astronomically looking and I'm so jealous of people who made good photos of it. But at least we have some shots of the Aurora as well as uh, some mountains and fjords and insert photos here. So that was the best part of the trip. The worst part was a storm that came up on the last day of our trip. And the storm was actually so strong that bridges were closed as well as airports. So we were actually stuck in Lofoten. We were supposed to return on Tuesday, but the flight was cancelled, bridges were closed, we couldn't get to the airport for the next flight, which took off. So we had to stay another day at Lofoten, and then get the morning flight, and then directly from the airport to work. Ugh. 
been a long week. Apart from the gadget and trip update, I will also just mention that Inside Out is the greatest, most beautiful movie I have seen in a really, really, really long time, if not ever. It is one of the three things that brought tears to my eyes while watching it. Uh, Ash leaving Charizard, the movie Fifty First States, and Inside Out. Just to also mention that I'm still working on some sketches and some drawings, so I haven't given up on art. And last but not least, I am really proud of your results as Brick Emotion. Uh, I'm looking forward to more videos that you can make and it would be really amazing if you can get Irena to say a couple words for your sound effects. I think it would be really cute and awesome. That's all. Bye! Ha 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 ha!